For several years now, the Jackery Explorer 500 has been one of the most acclaimed and popular 500W lithium portable power stations. Goal Zero is another top brand in the battery power station business. In January 2020, Goal Zero announced upgrades their Yeti range with the new X series of battery power packs. This review will test these two industry titans by comparing the enduring Jackery Explorer 500 VS Goal Zero Yeti 500X. These are both compact, lightweight power stations. The versatility of a power source that can be carried in one hand and can be charged from multiple sources makes them ideal for home emergency power, camping, even backpacking. Power is supplied by a pure sine wave inverter and will not damage sensitive electronics. Jackery Explorer 500 It's plain to see why the Jackery Explorer power station range is so popular. They are very reasonably priced and provide quite a bit of power. Yet the Explorer 500 is compact and lightweight enough to be carried around, pretty much like a portable radio. The Explorer 500 is their mid-size option, neatly between the 240 and 1000 models. These model numbers are based on the size of the lithium-ion battery. The Jackery Explorer 500 is supplied with a 513WH battery, hence the designation 500. This is sufficient to charge a phone approximately 53 times, or 7 charges for the average laptop. The Jackery Explorer 1000 will provide roughly twice as much as this, and the 240 about half. For such a compact unit, 11.8x 7.6x 9.2 the Jackery Explorer 500 packs a mean punch with 500W continuous power and a pretty impressive 1000W surge capacity. At only 13.32 pounds, the power to weight ratio, equally awesome. This little bombshell has the power to run a small refrigerator and is a big favorite for CPAP machines. Using the 12 VDC outlet, the Explorer can run a 12 V CPAP for up to 40 hours Wonderful for traveling and power outages. I am sure most of you know that the term up to is seldom realistic and will require the lowest power settings for a CPAP, meaning lowest pressure with a heater and dehumidifier switched off. Even then, you're probably looking at around 20, 30 hours battery time for most CPAP machines. Apart from the 12 VDC outlet, the Explorer 500 also has a 120 VAC output, supplied by a pure sine wave. For charging devices, there are three X5 V USB ports. 2.4. It would have been nice if they included USB-C ports. This would have made for much more efficient use of the battery when using laptops and other devices that can accommodate higher wattage and voltage USB charging. Provided by the C format USB, the Li-Ion NMC battery is quite remarkable. This is a 518 watt hour battery with a rated lifespan of 500 cycles or more at 80% average discharge. This means you can use up to 80% of the battery charge and recharge it at least 500 times before it needs to be replaced. The battery can be stored for 3, 6 months without the need to charge it. Goal Zero Yeti 500X The new 2020 Goal Zero Yeti X series has a number of upgrades. Not that the previous generation Yeti power stations were inferior to other market competitors. Apart from expanding the model range, there have been significant improvements to all the Yeti models. Solar charging is enhanced using an MPPT solar charger. Upgraded USB ports make the Yeti X series the best for high-speed charging USB. The 12 VDC regulated output has also been improved, providing a more stable current for 12V equipment. I'll be unpacking these upgrades as I review the Goal Zero 500X. In the end, we want to know if it's worth paying more for this portable battery power station when the Jackery Explorer 500 provides more watts for less cash. Personally, I prefer the general design of the Goal Zero Yeti 500X compared to the Jackery Explorer 500. It looks and feels more robust. Moreover, it is a more practical shape with a handle that folds into a molded slot at the top of the unit. It is little lighter than its Jackery competitor at 12.9 pounds. General dimensions are similar. 7.5x 11.25x 5.8 The improved lithium-ion battery used for the Yeti 500X makes it more capable than its 400 predecessor. The 500X is equipped with a more powerful 505WH battery. Technical specs for this battery match that of the Jackery point for point. Okay. The Jackery battery offers 8 extra watt hours, but this won't really affect the user. For the rest, this is also a Lion MC battery, which is generally considered the best. Battery lifespan is the same, 500 cycles at 80%, and it has the same safety features, preventing overcharging, short circuit, and damage from high temperatures. This battery can be stored for 3, 6 months without the need for top-up charging. In line with consumer expectations, the Goal Zero Yeti 500X can be charged using a 120V AC wall charger, a 12V input for car charging, and an advanced solar charger. 
Unlike cheaper PWM solar chargers, the Yeti 500X MPPT charger offers the best in terms of solar, this can be up to 30% more efficient than less accomplished chargers. Charge input is also above average at 180W, this almost doubles the 100W solar charge capacity of the Jackery, allowing for rated 200W panels. Now it's your turn, which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.